Hello everyone, my name is Edward Thomas Holbrook. I want to say how a Michigan state law put me on drugs for six years. Let's go back in 2015. First, I want to apologize for all the people I drove nuts in Midland County, Michigan. In 2015, I got evicted from my home because I was not in a lease. If I was in a lease, I would have never been a she would have never been able to evict me. What tenant in Michigan thinks to go renew their lease? I owned my own trailer. It was my home. And this lady, Margaret Johnson, in Stockholm Village, where I lived, evicted me in November. And due to frost laws, because I could not move my trailer, she was able to keep my home. And I could not understand that. I've only got an eighth grade education. But I went outside the courtroom that day and I stood outside for three days, held a sign saying I was wrongfully evicted in Midland, Michigan. I could not understand it. I blamed the judge. But now I come to ease. The judge is just doing what the law says for Michigan, I guess. But if anybody that hears this story that feels where a law should be changed, where the landlord has to come to you, has to come to you and make you sign a lease or tell you to leave like they do out west in Michigan it's the tenant's responsibility what tenant remembers I gotta go sign my lease January 3rd a year later not one this lady owns multiple trailer parks if she was able to do that kick people out over not being in a lease because you ain't in no contract then with her so if she wants you out you are evicted and if it's in November and let's use trailer parks for it mainly uses for trailer parks. If you have a trailer in there, guess what? She gets to keep it. I don't care if it's a $20,000 trailer or a $1,000 trailer or a $100,000 trailer. If you can't move it during frost laws, it's her trailer. So, yet she got to kick me out, keep my home, And it drove me nuts. But I stood outside Midland County Courthouse for three days holding a sign saying I was wrongfully evicted in Midland County, Michigan. You know what that sign said? I was wrongfully evicted. I forgot to see. A friend of mine called me on Facebook stream or whatever it is, Facebook streaming live or 
He called me and said I spelled evicted wrong. When you don't understand a lot and only got an eighth grade education, it's hard. I told the judge that day, show me where my money is, judge, show me. I really need to know where it's at. I really need to know, judge, because I'm losing everything. <laughs> it didn't matter. My money did not matter. My rent that was paid did not matter. <laughs> so I'm asking the federal government to change this law. <laughs> that I went through a depression. I lost everything. I even lost my job. I thought I had a great job. I worked for... Quad graphics, back when Harry Gra Quadriki was alive, I believed he was like the man to work for. I burnt my foot in 2010 all the way to the bone, and they made me sit in the customer lounge the very next day. Why didn't anybody tell me? And it was the same time I lost my trailer. You know what they told me? You know what my job told me? You can't sue us no more. You're fired. Per Rob Kriegel. Okay, so yes, between those two things, I went in a bad depression. My son paid the worst for it. <laughs> My son did. <laughs> and I went through a bad part of drugs. <laughs> Very bad depression. <laughs> And the one that paid the most is my son. Through this all. We didn't have a home. We lost everything. He don't even know what it's like to have a home anymore. He don't even know. He don't even sleep in his room. Because he don't know what it's like. Place to place. Got more into drugs thinking I can make <laughs> make it on with drugs. I became an addict. <laughs> the day the judge laughed at me. In that courtroom, told me Sam Bernstein was an injury lawyer. He asked me who my lawyer was. I said, Sam Bernstein. He started laughing. He goes, he's a personal injury. Then he told me I had to get out in 10 days. I blamed that judge for so long. For six years, I hated this state, this county. I was on self-destruct mode. I lost everything. It was all taken away because of a stupid law. Now I'm asking the federal government to change that law because it pushed me to go to drugs for six years and it cost my son a lot. <laughs> and I did get busted in Midland County with some drugs. I was getting pulled over daily basis, but guess what? That stuff wasn't really mine. <laughs> I think the bad people couldn't understand why I wasn't going to jail. I think the Midland County sheriffs felt sorry for me. The state police were pulling me over every day <laughs> until they found something. 
If that was mine, they would have never found it. I know that. <laughs> but now, I'm, to put me back in a financial burden, I'm three months clean. I've been trying my best to do right. Everybody that knows me, even in my darkest hours when I was on drugs, I found a purse with $10,000 in it approximately. I returned it. You can ask Andrea and Joel Holcomb from Sanford, Michigan. That's who I returned it to. <laughs> you try to do good. <laughs> the system still fails you. I've tried my best. <laughs> but now I'm sober. You know how I got sober? Me want my son. <laughs> the marijuana. Yes, people, marijuana. It took the urge away. Every time I wanted to go smoke crack or something, I'd smoke an extra joint. Then I'd go to bed. Now they're taking that away from me. I'm about to have a mental breakdown. I'm begging for somebody to help me. Midland County, they charged me with the hardest offense, I think, for what little I had. They want 10 grand for a lawyer, knowing I can't afford 10 grand for less than two tenths of possession. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I've never had to use an attorney. <laughs> but if there's an attorney that can help me, I sure can use an angel. <laughs> I don't need to go through another mental breakdown. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm trying to stay strong and stay off the hard drugs. But now they're making me go through all this stuff with the court system. And financially, it's making me lose, gonna lose my home. <laughs> this ain't right. Especially for the poor people. For a great education guy. I ain't gonna make ten fifteen dollars an hour my whole life. Maybe twenty. <laughs> so does the courts understand how hard a bad position they put the poor people are, especially the ones that are really coming off drugs. <laughs> but if it wasn't for this fucking stupid law, I would have never drove you crazy, Middle County. It drove me crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs>